tell us in a second or two, but I'm sure Neil will be not only happy with the overall performance of Sochi because it played a lot better, but he'll be happy that they've got the three points and he'll think that you know his side have uh, come up uh, with the goods again. Neil, it wasn't a classic by any stretch of imagination, but your side got the job done. They could have done me to be a for me. Uh, <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, I thought first off, I was really pleased at half time. Um, and, and the goal just on half time didn't change my team talk because I thought we were fine. And if uh, we'd have put that money, we could have been 3 0 up in 10 minutes again. Um, and, and two, I mean, you, you won't get simple chances and that. Um, you know, Will was a real disappointment in front of goal today. So you, you're always thinking when you miss those chances, will he come back to uh, haunt you? And I wouldn't say it nearly did, but he could have done. Um, so plays the first half, thought the, uh, the start of the second or certainly the first 20 minutes of the second half, it was messy. Um, and they were starting to get on top without really tapping our goal, but they started to get control of the game, which concerned me. So we did something a little bit different, which made a bit of a difference. Um, but, you know, Dave would hit the nail on the head. They were a team that don't give up with this, and uh, they really battled on. Uh, credit to them. I, I, I said, we all want to play super football every week and win by five goals, but that, that's not proper football, I'm afraid. Um, and today, you're right, we, uh, we got through, and defended well when we had to do. We, uh, Danny made uh, certainly one good save. <laughs> to me. But all in all, you know, we've come away, we've, we've won the game, played okay in the first half, not so well in the second half. Things can change, can't they? Things can influence a game and losing Rob Stevenson before the kickoff, that must have really sort of got you thinking, what do we need to do? You, you're right, I said that too, and you've overcome one or two uh, hurdles today, losing Rob. Now, you don't make a big thing of that because you've got ten guys to come into your team which we're thankful for, uh, raring to go. So, you know, we, we, people put an emphasis on Rob and Gracie and Trickett Smith and, and Sachs and Billy Ree and all of them, but we win games without them, um, which is pleasing. You is it, are you expecting Rob to be out for long? Because he, I know he's tweaked his back again, hasn't he? Didn't even know at all. An hour before kickoff, he was struggling, which I'm disappointed about because, as you've seen, we were short on the bench today. If I'd have known Rob was uh, was a doubt, I, I would have called. We'd let two lads go out and play uh, with Etoxida today, which left us a little bit short uh, with Rob not turning, uh, with Rob not being available. So I'm disappointed with that. Um, but again, they've, they've overcome losing Jack. Uh, that looked a bad injury. That yeah. looked as if he'd sort of twisted his knee and popped his knee when he went to the wall. When, when they go down on a pose without being tackled, um, you're, always, you're always concerned about that tag. <laughs> I mean, we won't know until this week, until it's been scanned, but, you know, it did, didn't look great. No, it didn't. So, uh, again, those sort of th hurdles you've had to overcome to come out uh, winners and leave yourself in fourth position, Mr Baker. I know you don't like talking about league positions. 49 points, though, uh, six ahead of Clitheroe in six. So, you know, well and truly cemented in those uh, playoff positions. Yeah. Uh, our, our aim is to... Uh, be at the top. Now whether we're good enough for that, I don't know. And said too that we can only take care of our, our own performances and our own results. What's a, what's ahead of us, or above us, whatever you want to call it, we, we can't control that. We've just got to keep, keep winning our games and see what happens. 
Long trip to Kendall next week in the league, and that's a game where anybody sort of looking at it and taking it, a passing interest in this level of football can think that's a, a, a banker for three points, but you don't take games like the deal. No, I think anybody that, you know, is seriously involved in football never takes anything for granted. Uh, and, and you can't do that because you get you get bitten on the backside, I'm afraid. And your your attitude week in and week out has got to be our attitudes are fine today. Thought the lads were you know, were at it. You know, when you see Tricky Smith block the goalkeeper with a few minutes. <laughs> to go, he's around 30 yards, that got a block on the goalkeeper, that lifts everybody, that lifts the, the crowd, it lifts the players, so attitude wise, uh, commitment wise, no problems at all, but it's when you get complacent, I think we've only got to turn up, I'd like to think these lads aren't like that, um, because we know, we've been involved in the game long enough to know that anything's possible. Uh, on any given day. Well, we'll be there next week with you, Neil. Thanks very much for coming up to the commentary position once again and uh, giving us your thoughts on the game. Uh, that's Neil Baker, the manager of Leak Town, uh, giving us his thoughts on today.